While camera and lens technology continue to get better and better, the reality is, is that your camera isn't currently able to see light as effectively as your own eyes can. Every camera has a set dynamic range. That's the gamut between light and dark that your camera can see without losing detail on one end or the other. Photographers and videographers use a tool called a neutral density filter to help them bring into balance those differences between light and dark. Another technique that you might be familiar with is HDR photography. That's when you take multiple photos at different exposures and then blend them together with software to balance out those bright points in the image with the dark spots in the image. There's a couple of inherent challenges with HDR photography though. It doesn't handle motion really well because you're capturing multiple photos at multiple points in time. If a subject is moving, you're going to get a ghosting effect. With a neutral density filter, it's one exposure, one point in time, so you're freezing that motion. Another inherent issue with HDR is sometimes it can look a little fake or a little unnatural. As the technology and software has gotten better, this is less and less of an issue. But if you want to get it right in camera the first time and have it look as natural as possible, a graduated ND filter is really the way to go. To use a graduated ND filter, you first need to decide whether you need a soft, medium, hard, or a reverse grad filter. A reverse grad filter is very helpful when you're photographing something like a sunset or a sunrise when the brightest part of your image is towards the middle horizon line. A soft, medium, or hard filter is gonna be helpful when your sky is bright but your foreground is dark and you have three levels of gradation to choose from between the dark half of the filter and the clear half of the filter. Next, you'll need to decide on the strength you need. You can use an external light meter or the light meter that's built into your camera to determine the difference between the brightest spot in your image and the darkest spot in your image. If you're not comfortable with manual metering yet, that's okay. Just grab the least intensity and defilter in your bag, start there, and if it's not giving you the results you want, go up to the next level. Once you're ready to compose your photo, you'll place the dark area of the filter over the brightest portion of the scene. Then carefully position the transition point between the light and dark areas. The ProMaster HGX Prime collection of graduated ND filters are compatible with most 100 millimeter filter holder systems. They are truly color neutral, which yields accurate color results, and they have smooth gradients, which creates natural looking light in your photos. They're available in four strengths that filter one, two, three, or four stops of light. Unlike other graduated ND filters that are made of plastic or resin, HGX Prime graduated ND filters are made of a scratch-resistant shot B270 glass. Each filter includes our Repelamax 2 anti-static barrier, which is resistant to dust, dirt, oil, water, and fingerprints.